What's up, y'all? It's Crispy here, and here we are with Ifrit Spiritus. Now, I have a team that can bypass all mechanics of this fight, and it's literally just based on Queena right here. I have Noctis and Leo here just for DPS and turn manipulation. Now, what you want to do is get Queena's BT effect up and stacks up as high as possible so that we can maintain our max brave. That's the main goal of this right here, okay? Now we're going to delay, of course. You love to see it. Put this on so that Noctis' FR can hit harder. We are going to use Queena's FR to go into the, the gauge with. Hit Steel Pirouette. And this is where the demolishing starts. We don't want to use too many turns because we do want to build the gauge. But I will get all these framed buffs on and delay their turns. Because they do buff themselves and we don't want that. And boom, guess what? We're breaking again. That's good for Queena. This is three breaks. So that brings frog stacks up to four. Oh, never mind. Only up to three. Okay. I'm ignorant. Um, let me think. 78.5. I think we're going to start activating our BT effects. Leo, I'm not too sure of. All right. But this team will ignore all mechanics, so that's uh, a really, really, really good thing. All right, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be, I'm pretty sure, we're gonna be able to beat T before they do. That's my goal. And I am going to go into the BT phase with Leo. Um, they do get to a certain percentage on the FR. I think it's 80% where they will hit you with some sap. But with Queena in here, we have... The, it's either Queena or... It's either Queena or... Leo that gives us recovery. I'm not too sure. Honestly, I don't remember. That's my one fault. <laughs> I can't remember who gives us the recovery. Now I'm trying my best to get our stacks up so that we can maintain our brave and set up the FR. There's a follow-up, and then Noctis should come as well. Yes, sir. Ooh, FRs. Ooh, let's hit the steel pirouettes. I'm gonna use the skill one so that I can make sure our buff stays up on Leo. We do not want that going off. Leader, we need that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, nice break. FR time. If we can get it in under 80, that's even... Oh my god, we got it in under 80. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. So then we won't even have the sap. So you don't even need to work. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. By the time we go into Leo's BT phase, Queena's frog sack should be pretty high. And we don't want Queena to get too many turns because we don't want that BT effect to go away. That's the BT effect that we absolutely positively need. If the other enemies get turns, that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm only aiming at B. The ads are not on my radar for me. 79, yes sir, and get that extra damage in there with the follow-ups. So gorgeous. Now when that green aura comes up, we're not gonna be Oh so it's the red aura that does it, okay. It's not the FR percentage. As you can tell, I'm not. I can't read Japanese, and I didn't read any translations. I only watched like two fights to see what what happened. Okay, I think we're good. 
We can go into Leo's BT phase. Next. We're gonna get one more. Or we have one. Uh, I think that was that was only two. Okay, that's fine. Get some breaks here, get Queen as Frog stacks up. We want to get as much percentage boost as possible. And since Queen as BT effect or FR effect is active, we get more percentage based on how many frogs we have. That's how it works. 77. I think once we get to 69, the ads disappear. Well, I better yet say KO. And the main boss heals for I think 7 million and then they come again like they respawn and then the boss loses health to summon them again it's really confusing if I'm being honest I don't understand it I'm, I'm kind of going at the, seat, at the seat, flag at the seat of my pants I guess you'd say Perfect. Can we go past 68? Oh, we can. Okay. I will be using Queen as EX so that I can get some breaks and make sure those frog stacks are at 10 when we go into the summon. Or not summon. The BT phase for Leo. See? You see what I was talking about, guys? How much health can we have? Um. Oh my god, that's perfect. Should I do Mustard Bomb or should I do Cook? I'll, I'll hit Limit Glove because I do want to hit Rainbow Damage and I do want those Frog Stacks to be up to 10. You see, we're still hitting. Regardless of how high our Brave is, our Max Brave, because of Queena, we're... Ooh, I'm not going to actually use that. I'm going to use this. I'm going to bring... You up, I don't want Queenie to go. And we're gonna hit HP attacks because we are still gonna hit damage. I'm not gonna auto like usual. This is this is minuscule, I'm telling you. We are evading all of the mechanics of this fight. All you need to do is bring Queen up. Literally all you need to do. Preparing a direct magic sword attack. Okay, that's not good. Please don't... Oh, okay, good. 26 million. That's not good. Okay. BT effect. We did hit a little too hard, so he healed. Hopefully, we're able to account for that. Boom. Boom. I think we're good. As long as he doesn't get another turn, we're good. Get our follow-ups, and Noctis will be in here as well. This, this team is impeccable, seriously. Look at how beautiful this is. What gives me an... I think the EX gives me a free turn, yeah. So I probably should have done EX, skill 2, skill 2, skill 1, LD, FR. I might have messed up there, but I think we're able to squeeze this out. And honestly, I just really wanted to use Leo again. We could have possibly brought Tifa and, and a Lena call that would recover us and heal us. But I'm stubborn and I really wanted to use Leo again. I didn't max him for nothing, you know? Is this going to be the fastest run on YouTube? I hope. If it's under nine minutes, it's definitely one of the fastest. And look at this. We're going to overkill 100%. This is so beautiful. I'm not bragging, I promise. This is just... Ignoring mechanics is is the most insane thing. Because you can literally power through if you have the right characters. I know that might be like a given, but... Um, yeah, you don't even need L Aces LD Trap. Usually to get rid of the green aura, you, need, you would need a trap. Nah, we didn't even play with that. Now, instead of using skill 2 right there... I did rush that. I should have used skill 1, then skill 2, and then FR as the final. But it honestly doesn't matter. Because <laughs> look at this. Overkill, baby. Look at this. This is insane. General Leo and... Oh, man. I am... Noctis is the most unexpected green. And he is someone that I have not been disappointed with. 
Like, I am 100... Oh, shit. Sorry. I am 100% satisfied with greening Noctis. Oh, wait, wait. I can't auto because the kill hit someone else. I want him to hit the main boss. Just so I can see how much I can overkill him by. Alright, that's it. That's the fight. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment your team below. Let me know if you're having any difficulties. Maybe I can help. You can do this with just an ace LD call. As long as the trap hits it at that certain percentage, I think it's 69, when the green aura comes up, it will dispel the trap and then you can keep going. I would advise not giving the main boss a turn just to like make it easier on yourself. And I didn't S it. Wow. Okay, so it's probably HP or something. We gotta, we gotta see what this is. Hold on. What happened? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Okay, well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.